All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to today's episode of Additive Code in Haskell. Um, it's day seven. I've been streaming for seven consecutive days now. That is enough to be affiliate. Hey, little Annie. She is the only VIP on this stream. If you want to be VIPs, you got to know me, you know? All right. Uh, let's start the day off. Make dear day seven. Day seven. Touch day seven dot HS. Touch. Touch, test, input. Let's just create all the files that we need. And let's open it up. Day seven. So what's today's problem? I guess some of you already solved it. Seen someone already solve it, but... Hey, down my criminal. Thanks for subscribing or following. I think like... Uh, you can't get subscribers unless you're affiliate, but we're getting there. I'm actually, I think, um, I think I have to stream for an hour, 20 minutes more, and then I, I fulfill all the requirements. It's gonna be great. Oh shit. So much text we need to fix. All right, you land at the regional airport in time for next flight. In fact, oh no, there's luggage processing issues. Like I said yesterday, <laughs> they're they're covering all the aspects of travel. You got passport, you got customs, you got luggage issues. It's not a good trip for uh, for Santa. Okay, so oh, there's so many rules about bags. Bags must be color coded and must contain specific quantities of other color coded bags. <laughs> what? It's very strict regulations. It's like, hey, you don't have bags in your bag, so we're gonna throw it away. Okay, apparently, the only way to do for this regulations considered how long they would take to enforce. Okay, so light red bags contain one bright white bag, two muted yellow bags, dark orange bags contain. One, two, okay, so I think each line, every faded blue bag is empty, every white and plump bag contains 11 bags, and so on. You have a shiny gold bag. If you wanted to carry it in at least one other bag, how many different bag colors would be valid for the outermost bag? In other words, how many colors can eventually contain at least one shiny gold bag? Okay, yeah, you know, so, okay, so bright white bags. Uh, muted yellow bag because they can contain a shiny old. Okay, so muted can contain gold bag, yeah, okay, okay. Dark orange bag, which can hold bright white and muted yellow bags. Either way, yeah, okay, a light red bag, okay. So, we're gonna be calculating transitivity. Great. I just implemented transitivity stuff um, for my plugin, I think. So there's like a. So, I mean, so we're essentially finding, you know, transitive closure of sets. So let's see. Um, let's take the test input. We need to. We need to. Paste it in, uh, and now we need to parse it. Now that's, uh, that's, oh no, this is the, this is not, uh, this is the test input. This is the test input, save it. This is gonna be not our test input, this is actually. Okay, so let's look at this. We need to parse it. Um, Let's write a parser. Uh, there's a lot of options for writing parsers in Haskell. Uh, parsec. 
we just 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 to use you know actually i don't think we're gonna write like a full like this is like proper stuff like dino legend he is a legend and this is really this is a really good parser but you know we are we're not that desperate okay uh let's just split it so we're gonna say here main I O main equals get input test input into oh my god oh i pressed caps lock into print get input is going to take a file path as usual going to give us list of strings and then get input is going to be fmap lines read line uh no read file right let's compile it and run it day seven oh day seven and time running it this one's gonna be a bit hard actually i think so let's let's copy paste from day six we have this nice split when function already um to split then we're gonna split so we're gonna split on these keywords right let me see fmap split when contains dot lines and the problem with this is uh oh yeah now this will not work this only works for for one string right so we need to okay we can't split it like this uh yeah so we need to do we need to do map this so we took the lines and we we're gonna take the words also right so then we want a what is this return Okay, so this is this returns a right. So this one should. So this one takes a list. Into a list of strings. What? Yeah, yeah. So it takes a list into a list of strings, but this is not the type of that. So let's see. So let's. Oh, we need to map. Like this. Okay, let's see what this returns. All right. Light red bags contain one white bag, dark red bag. Uh, okay, they says contain. Okay, light red bags, one. Bright right bag, two muted yellow bags. Okay. So, so we have a list of list of strings. Now, okay, we're gonna have here. We're gonna map over that, right? This is gonna take in get uh two two bag. Um, so the first one. So we're gonna take in a list of lists. We're gonna take a list of list of strings, okay? Uh, and then we're gonna return. I don't know yet. Two bag. We are going to take in. So this is the uh, uh, container, and this is the contained, right? So this is, we're gonna take the container and the contained. Um. Okay, and then we we want. We want to have light red. Okay, uh, let us 
So let's let's like create a compound key, right? So we want the map. So all of them have two, right? So it's gonna be map of string, comma string to list of strings. So this is gonna be uh, okay. So these are always gonna be you know uh, light, light, light or dark, right? Uh, light or dark, and then color, and then it's gonna be. So and then the rest here is gonna be the contained. Okay, and we're gonna say this. This is a list of list of strings. So this is for each one. Uh, so. So we're just gonna say here map dot single singleton. So we're gonna import data dot map. Import data dot qualified data dot map as map. And then this is gonna be map dot singleton. Uh, so we're gonna say here light or dark comma color contained let's see uh so we are going to map to bag oh no non-exhaustive patterns <laughs> what contains here Okay, faded contain faded blue bags. Yeah, that's the first one. Okay, let's instead we will map. So let's let's so we, we got the input. So imp uh, do okay. We're just gonna get the input and then oh, it should be commented out, right? Yeah, map m. A print. We're just gonna. We want to print every line in the input. There's some. There's some pattern error here that we're not seeing. So light, red, back, dark, light or dark, like your dark color, and then yeah, here this is just gonna say bags. So. If we map two bag here. Okay, now we have dotted black, no other bags. Okay, so so we really just need to find the transitive one. But uh, I, I assume I assume we're gonna have to be using these numbers. Um, so so let's encode those somehow. Um, okay, let's let's just wait until task. Let's just see if we need to encode them right away. Um, and then, so contain bags. So this is gonna be contained bags. Okay, and they and it's gonna be it's gonna be. Um, so we're just gonna split. Let's split it on. So now we're, we're looking at one of these lists, right? Let's put it on something that starts with bag. I don't think there's any color that starts with bag. Baggerine? Bag? Baggerin? <laughs> no. It doesn't exist. Um, where? Oh. All right, I have plenty of viewers. How you guys all find me? 
Y'all coming here from... I made I, So this time I made like a post on the Haskell subreddit and add a bit of code. Because I think, I think people want to see how we, how we do it in the programming world. Um, let's see. So these are going to be contained tags equals split when uh, so I think there's a function called starts with uh, but oh no it's in the missing yeah it's this is like you know there's so many things in GC that like in the list which you like want but it's all in this data list split or in like uh, one of the sub libraries or like, you know, missing missing base or something like that. So missing H, you know, it's like this, this function should be there, but I don't want to import Cabal, right? So let's just say, uh, let's just define starts with like, here's our, this is our utils. Starts with, uh, it's going to take an EQ, a, so it takes a list of A's. So it takes an A and a, no, it takes a list of A's and an A and returns bool, okay? Starts with, um, yeah, so string starts with, right? So yeah, so this is gonna be a list of, um, is this how we do it? We start with, what was the type here? Starts with EQA splitter. Starts with EQA, EQA pool. Yeah, okay, so we're essentially gonna say, so here is some gonna be some uh, S, so comp. So this is one we work paper and then the string, and then we're gonna say, Take length comp from string is equal to comp. That is the definition of starts with, right? Don't I think a parser would have been easier? I mean, yes, but I don't want to use Cabal to download one of the nice parsing libraries, right? Um, so that's the that's the thing, right? Is there any parser like built into GHC that I that I could just import directly? Cause I I don't I don't recall there being one. Okay, this is this one did not work. Um, yeah, sorry, contained. And this is going to be a kind of split when it's going to be a list of list of strings. All right, one bright white, two muted yellow, three bright white, muted yellow, shiny gold, nine fighted, no other. Okay. Um, now let's turn these into a map. of screen comma string to, okay, contain bags and now mapify. So we take a list of strings and we will return a map of string comma string to an integer. Yeah, I mean, I know I, I have used the read thing, but it's just, it's like if if this was like a production thing, right? And I was going to be using it again and again, I would. But yeah, I should really yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that. But I need to get familiar with it first, right? It, it would be a very good thing to have in your repertoire, like a you could just whip out a parser like that. But this is going to be fine. Okay, map if I if it is you know a if it is a 
number uh, so this is light dark bright muted what is what do we call this descriptor adjective uh color uh no this is gonna be oh this will overwrite this will probably shadow this color right uh so let's call it c color this is gonna be a map dot singleton of a adjective comma color and then a read of the number mapify anything else is going to be map dot empty so instead of returning a list a list of strings so we we got the contain bags uh so this is going to be we're going to have a map of string of string and strings and then we're going to we're going to combine those data dot map uh, into no okay we're gonna have the we're gonna have union right yeah so this just takes two maps um so we get all these maps so we are going to say uh all contained equals bold L. Uh, we're gonna say union dot mapify. So it's gonna be map dot union of mapify. What is it complaining about? Yeah, I mean. Couldn't expect type map to string int with. I'm just gonna finish writing this function, right? Okay, yeah, it's probably because it's gonna be a fold r map dot empty, and then it's going to be no. Okay, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. So I, I think it's going to be like this, and then I want to map it over over contained bags. Yeah, this works. So this is going to change all of them into these maps, and it's going to join all of them. So this will be a map of map of strings to a map string comma string int. Um, all contained. See? All right. Now we've figured out this, uh, this, this kind of, so now we can go from a light red to the map which contains the th the the things that can contain right um and now we want to so okay so okay so let's see here Okay, and we want to. You have a. We want to carry it in at least one other bag. How many different bag colors would be valid for the outermost bag? So now we have to compute the transitive closure, and we have to figure out whether shiny gold is a member of the transitive closure. Okay, so how do we write? Transitive closures um, of maps. Uh, first of all, let's let's drop the map. Uh, oh no, we don't want to drop the map. Um, 
So transitive closure. Uh, so, and we have to start with all of them, right? So we kind of want to, we kind of want to flip, flip them, right? Kind of want to flip the maps, um, some way. Okay, let me, let me, I, I don't quite remember how we did transitive closures. I did do it for my plugin. Let's just open plugin code. This is. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're supposed to be. I mean, I think I could figure it out. Like, if it wasn't an interview, and I would have to figure out how to write a transitive closure, but I, we're not in an interview, right? So. And like if you're at actual work, you are expected to use code you've used before. So here's my Rit plugin. And this uh, this fix fit scope, it's like fixing the scope of stuff. And in one of these, I have to do uh, transitive closures. Uh, this code looks way harder when it isn't smaller. Okay. Um, uh, I think it's... Wait. Yeah, here we go. So, full DVAR set. And then this is... This is exactly where we compute the transitive closure. Oh no. <laughs> we use the trans close DVAR set function. Let's just see if data.set has transitive closures. Data data dot set. Uh data dot set like this. Ugh, I thought Google knew me, you know? But unfortunately, it doesn't doesn't know me well enough. Thanks for the subscription. Snake on your child. That is not a good thing to have. Closure. Uh, set transitive closure. Uh, data dot set. Okay, so here's where I would write it down. So how, okay, let's let's just think. How do we compute the transitive closure? So one step. So we take all the things in the map. We look those up in the map, and then we 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 put so for for every element in the map. We. We look up the closure and then we do it again until we never add anything else. So let's just do that. Let's just let's just do it live. Uh, trans close of a map key a. Map key B uh, to map K map map K B trans close. Okay, so we have the map. We are going to switch a map of things, right? Um. Uh, so where, what's the values in a map? Values, a map with key, foldal, foldal, filter, map maybe. This is a function that's just called values, right? How do I, how do I get? 
let 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 use uh, let use let use type tools because I don't remember what the function here should be. So we're just gonna say f is supposed to be a function from map a b to a list of b's. What is it? See, I added this function because I am lazy like this. Uh, valid health hits elements. Good thing we have typed whole suggestions in Haskell, huh? Yeah. Anyway, so else is gonna be elements of f map dot elements of the map. So that is a, a else is gonna be a list of map k b. Okay, so the keys of those are going to be. So now I want a, so now I want to, I want a list, a list of, I want, I want a list of, list of keys. So I go map something, uh, over this else. Okay. And this type hole is empty. No, that's not what I want. Um, Okay, keys equals so map KB. Uh, let's take this out. Uh, map KB to a list of keys. Keys equals so it would actually be a set of keys, but that's fine. Keys. Okay, it's just called keys. So map, and why didn't it want to do this for us here? Because, oh, map.keys, not in scope, okay. But the problem with this is, couldn't match expected type K1. What? No. Oh. It's because I want, I'm saying K, and it's like not realizing that I actually want the same K as as is in the definition so i have to add this scoped type variables to there and uh, this is going to give me the keys it's just it's just uh, uh, if i do here for all k We have to use explicit for alls to get the K into scope, and then this works. Okay, now let's just get the keys. So for each key, uh, so I, now I have a map of, no, wait. I actually, I don't want it like this, right? I want, uh, I want the map, I want a key, and then I want the set of keys that key goes to. Um, which is just gonna be, you know, like this, like, this. so I just wanna turn this into a set of keys. Um, so I just wanna say, F map, um, What, how can I, can, if I map over the elements, yeah, so. So I, I want, I want here a map of K set K. Let's import data dot set, data dot set, set. I think we're way over complicating this, but I want to do it the cool way, you know. And uh, I've been complaining that these are too easy, but this is actually, this is fun, you know? Transitive closures, it's not so often, I mean, hmm. 
you use transitive closures surprisingly often. Like that is something when I learned about them, I was like, wow, I won't use this that often, but now here I am. Okay, so we're gonna F map. Uh, so for each, so for the elements, uh, so over, uh, so we're gonna F map something over the, the map, right? So this one is gonna have type map KB to set K, right? Keys set. Nice. I really like typed whole completions. Ugh. I mean, I don't have to control F on Hugo or Hackage. It's the best. Okay, so map K. So now we have... Now we have for each of them, let's just say here, let's just say that this goes to map K set K. Let's just, let's just say L's here. I just want to see the, I just want to see the, I just want to see what the value is currently trans closed for all of these. Okay, so your light red from list, bright red. Oh, right. So I mapped the string over to the, I mapped the two bags, but then I never actually, I should unify the two bags, right? So, uh, let's, let's do, let's just do that. So here in the input, I get a list, a list of strings. And then I map to bag, uh, let big map equals a uh, fold our union dot to bag, uh, map dot union of uh, input. Oh no, what is the problem here? Print big map. That input here is map uh, two bag. Okay. So uh, full R. Full L. Oh, I need map dot empty here, right? Right. Boom. Now we have one. Big map. And then we want to print the transit closure of big map. Okay, now, oh my God, this is not easy to read. So from list bright white. Uh, so this, so this one goes to We, I would like, um, it would be nice if we had like a nice syntax in Haskell for, for sets, um, like set, like, you know, like Python has, you just, you just write brackets, you know, one comma two, and it's just a set one comma two. That's, that's nice syntax. Um, let's just write it pp pretty print set takes in a show a of set a to string pp set s sit. Uh, lm set set dot lms. So this is gonna be set dot elements. That's gonna be a, it's, it's complaining now that it's, so this returns those. And then we are going to map show, show. So this is just gonna be this plus map show over the list. 
So we're just actually going to say, we're just gonna be very dirty. We're gonna say show set dot set dot elements of set. Um, so, and then we're gonna replace the the first and last one with this, like so it's not a so it's not a list. Um, let uh, R. So we're gonna show this. So now we have an R that's gonna be without the first one. Uh, it's gonna be the last one. Our rewires R, and then we're just gonna write. Okay, so now we pretty printed a set. Um, how do we pretty print a map? Um, well, to pp map show a k comma show v so map kv to string uh let's actually let's actually not say show well we need show v but let's uh let's let's have this be you know v to string Uh, pp map equals so this is pp vals of and then we have the map so here we are going to do so for each of the keys oh yeah good point we need to reverse this again um Actually, I mean, I think uh, the map, the map is not going to be that difficult. Let's just... Because I kind of, I just want to like print it, print it. Uh, um, so let's, let's just key, come key, value, wait. Okay, now I have a map. If I wanted a... I want a function that goes, I want a function that, I want to import data.map. I want a function that goes map kv to a list of k comma v. Uh, to list. Asox. All right, let's just use Asox. Uh, so I'm going to write here, um, map M, I, I, I want to do four, four M, is four M even by default there? Okay, well, I just want to do flip. So what's the type of flip map and yeah so flip map m of the asox of the trans clause of big map do so uh k comma v k comma v uh, do uh, put stir ln. Uh, I'm just gonna put show k uh, plus 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 pp set v. Real quick. 
Oh no. Um, I think this is because... Do we need like explicit? Yeah, okay, no, yeah. So the key valve should be here and then this should be do, right? What is it complaining about? Don't I, I, I have too many. Let's see here. Oh, it's just this entire thing is wrong. Okay, it's somewhere, something, somewhere, something, somewhere else. Um, what? Okay, so there's some error somewhere here. So it's not this one. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, shoot. This is supposed to be where? Like this. Okay, good. Uh, now this is supposed to be key comma val. Uh, let's see if this works. All right. Bright white, shiny white, fork, olive, dotted, olive, faded, olive. Um, okay, so now we have to take the map and we have to do this fix point. And the fix point just means that we kind of run it again and again until the map doesn't change. So, transitive closure of a set. Uh, so here we have the, the map. So here we have the initial set. Um, and then to do the transitive closure, we use, need to use the fix function. Not a GCI fix. Uh, we have the fix function, right? Yeah, I mean, we can just write our own fix function which takes in um, fix EQ, EQA, A to A to A. So fix EQ, uh, FA equals. So if FA equals A, then A else fix EQ, F, FA. Uh, let's say here where apple equals FA. We only want to apply it once. Uh, and what the what's the problem here? Oh no! Fix EQ is applied to two arguments, but its type only has one. What you what you talking about? Oh, like this. Okay, so now we're gonna fix until it it's the same, but um, we're gonna fix it until it's the same. Uh, we're gonna fix it until it's the same, and then so and then we keep going. Okay, so. How, how do we, so, so now we're going to say, so the update is going to take a map k, set k. Uh, it's going to take, you know, and we need to, the equality of the keys. Uh, and to a map k, set k. Update, uh, and uh, it doesn't have an update. So how do we update the map? Uh, so we simply... Okay, we simply do this. We... 
we so okay so let, we, we do it for for each key uh map keys yeah i think we can map keys over data.map right uh oh my god data map haskell let me let's see how well google knows me okay map Damn it. I used to, when I was working on this the most, I used to be, I could just Google map and Google would know me so well. It would be like, yeah, Matty, Matty is probably meaning data.map. He's not, he's not talking about Google maps. That guy goes nowhere. But now I travel too much, apparently. In 2020? I'm not sure. Okay, let's see here. Update a value at a specific key with the result of the provided function. So adjust with key, that's good. I think we want to, uh, I think we want to adjust with key for all of the keys, right? So we're going to say, uh, uh, map. So, okay, so it's gonna be... So if we flip adjust with key, what do we get then? Import data.map. Flip adjust with key. It's just a... Oh. What's the type of that? Yeah, so then we flip it. Uh, okay, because so we would want to flip all of it. We wanna... We want it to take the map uh, no, wait. So we want the, so I think, so we want the function, we, the function is always going to be the same. And then we're going to, we're going to, we're going to take a key and the current updated map, and then we're going to look up the key in the map and then, yeah. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to be folding. Fold L, I think. And, okay, so, cur map. So fold, fold L takes in the function and the initial value, right? So here we're going to have some fun. And then we're going to have... Um, and then we're going to have the keys in the current map. Is the map ever going to... Add, it's never gonna add. I don't think it's ever gonna add stuff to the current. It's never gonna add keys to the map, right? We're only gonna be updating, updating the values. So it's gonna be. This is gonna be fine. Map dot keys. Um, full fun, and then this is gonna be the cur map. And now I have to define where fun. What's the type of fun? Can't spell functional programming without fun, you know? Anyway, uh, what's the type of folder? I keep forgetting. So we can fold L over the maps, but that's uh, that's not per key, right? Adjust the value at a specific key. Yeah. Okay. So the fun here. Okay. So the current. So A here is going to be cur map. So fun is going to take in a map. K set K. It's going to take in a key and it's going to return a map k set k. Okay, that is, that is, so we got the type there correct. Now, let's see, we're going to do, we're going to be doing adjust with key. Adjust with key. And then fun 
think okay um okay let's fold let's fold r actually and then we will get it now we want to take the map uh oh well, let's fold r i think i mean fold r fold l is like better map k set i think it's like more efficient but for these problems it's usually usually doesn't matter too much so adjust with key uh and here we need some function right and after uh if that That should be, yeah, this should be mapped at the just key. Uh, what is wrong here? So that takes in, so if we, if we give this a function, some value, right? It's going to, uh, this should be the right type, right? Why isn't this the right type? So if I give a just with key, oh, okay. We need ord. We need ord here. So okay. So okay. So for the given key, uh, we're gonna apply update key. Now update key is going to take in. Um, yeah, exactly. That is gonna take in our k and a map k set k. And we turn a map k set k right. It's just the same thing again, right? Oh, we're getting rated again. I got rated like two days ago. Um, it's always a, a lot of fun. You got a lot of new people. Hey all, hope you enjoy some programmatic Haskell programming. Um, programmatic programming. I'm trying to do like this very algebraically. So we're doing transitive closures now. Uh, and I said earlier, wait, what is supposed to be the type of update key here? Oh, this is gonna be, is this gonna be like this? No, what is, what is, it, what is the type of update key here? Let's see. Oops. Um, K, set K, set K, right. Is this what I want though? Okay, so, no, okay, let's, let's just do this directly. So, okay, so here we have a K, here we have the current map. Okay, and then we are going, we're going to do the following. So we're going to look up, we're going to look up K. First of all, look up. Yeah, we're going to look up. Okay, so let's, so now we, we, we have the K, key K. Okay, and this is always going to be in the map, right? It's always going to be there, uh, the key, right? Because we're, we're, we're iterating, we're iterating over, over the list of keys in the map. So we don't have to worry about it being there. So we can do actually, we can do this, right? We can just say, we can say else equals where else is going to be it's going to be curve map bang k so else is going to be of type set k right uh what is wrong here and you find yeah if you like this content uh, don't forget to subscribe this is a varmilo keyboard um, these VA69 special edition, uh, but it only comes in like blue and no, it comes in. So the original layout is like, 
is essentially this, except these were all red. Um, and I didn't quite like that because... So the thing is, I'm Icelandic, right? Um, let me... So I have another one. So this is the blue blue keys one I use for programming. This is the one other one I have. Uh, so and it, it, looks, it looks a bit more like this, right? But this is like a, the Danish flag. Okay, and December first, when we first started the the advent of code, we I was we were celebrating uh, 102 years of independence or like sovereignty from Denmark. So I I got one of those keycap sets which had blue keys, and uh, I replaced a lot of the red keys with blue keys, and turned my keyboard into the Icelandic flag. You gotta represent, you know. There's there is. I think literally five or six people in all of Iceland that's that are like really into functional programming. They're like, you know, maybe less than ten. I think you know we have a we have a meetup. We have a meetup every every Christmas because everyone comes home for Christmas, right? And it's just like ten people, and that's it. That's all of them. And we all know each other, uh, and uh, we have some pretty cool people. But uh, yeah, now the Varmilo keyboard, those are, they're very good. Like, and also I tried buying another keycap set and it just, it didn't feel right. It was like the, oh, the feel of the keys is so good. I, I really like these. Um, but yeah, you gotta if you're if you're from a small country, you gotta represent, you know. Anyway, so uh, where were we? We were updating the elements here. Uh, this is gonna be map.bang. So we found the set of elements for that map. Okay, and now for each of those elements, we want to look up. So let's say here, that's going to be cat maybes, right? Import data dot maybe. We're going to cat the maybes. Uh, so for the elements here, we're going to say uh, in map is going to be a, a list of keys. Now there's going to be a list of sets of keys. So in map is going to be that is going to be the the we're gonna map we are no yeah we are going to map maybe bang map dot bang question mark of uh so this is going to be we're going to map over the per map over the elves and this is wrong because this is a set and map maybe doesn't work over a set so we have to say elements okay right set dot elements now this is going to be what is what is occurs cannot construct the infinite type yeah okay Huh. No, okay, we want the sets actually here. Uh, so, can we just set dot map? Uh, I, I don't think there's a map maybe for sets actually. Let's see. Um, so, look, these are the ones in the map. This is gonna be a maybe a list of maybe set case. Let's just say here. What is why what do you want? What do you want from me? Couldn't match exact bit type. Map map maybe. Um okay. Uh, this this should be C map. We wanna be looking up in the C map. Hmm. Let me see here. Okay, so this is gonna be a set of K. Let's let's see what we can do with data.set. Google data.set. 
Um, we're gonna be set mapping over. No, wait. So okay, these are the ones in the map. Okay, we want to do two list here. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. Because we, we're gonna be mapping over them. We don't actually need the sets. This is gonna be set dot two list of the current map. Okay, cannot construct the infinite type. Expected type, map, 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 map. That is, this is Haskell. Uh, functional programming language is lazy. So, and the trick there is you basically write something and it's all gonna be expressions. And then like the, the, the it, comp it compiles, compiles to something called a spineless, spineless tagless machine or tagless spine machine or something like that and it just optimizes the shit out of it it's crazy stuff um so you know i write all of this code super algebraically and then it uses all the algebra to just just make it fast because it knows that it's allowed to do all these things uh but yeah, you can it take, can take take a bit of work cuz now we're now we're like writing transitive closures cuz you have to express it in an algebraic way. I mean, you don't have to. I could do this with uh, with like variables and stuff, but that wouldn't be good content. Now would it? Okay, um in map map maybe So what do I want here? Uh, so the, the C map is a map of K to set of K. So map K set of K. Well, maybe maybe it's because oh yeah, I think that's the thing. I think that's the issue here. So we want to be looking at it like this, right? Couldn't match. Maybe maybe set K. Mm. Um, so, okay. All right, this has to be the question mark. Cool, we mapped maybe. So, so these are all the sets for the current key. So this is gonna be the list of sets for which the sets are in the Keys are in the map. So these, these, we're going to add these to the key. So we are going to say here, uh, so, okay. So, okay. Now we have a, a set list of sets. So we're going to, we just want a one big set set dot union. Uh, why, where is it going? Couldn't set that union. Set unions. Okay, this is going to be set K. And then we want to, and then we want to show off. We want to adjust. Adjust. So we want to adjust the key. We want to adjust just k with the union of in map so this is going to be map.adjust of the set.union uh what is wrong here hmm Map to so map to the Okay, yeah, okay, it's gonna take K like this. <laughs> um, okay, wait, uh, like this. Uh, but I was referring to the K here, so I need, yeah, K C map. It's gonna be K C map. So this is one update step. Yeah, it's the moving mug. It's the 
Sherlock. It's one of my favorite mugs. So this is one step of the update. So let's see here. So let's let's do this, and then let's apply the update once to the transfer closure. But let's print something out in between. Put stir ln after. Do 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 do. Okay, so okay, so here we had okay, bright white contains shiny white, and shiny white is not in the list. Okay, so dark olive contains dotted olive. Uh, dotted. Okay, there's no dotted. Um, faded olive. There's no faded olive. Dark orange contains... Okay, so we're trying to figure out here. So, okay. Uh, which which one of these do we... Are we trying to update even? There's none of them in here? Faded. Huh. Let's see. Um... Faded blue bags, started blue bags. Faded blue bags contain no other bags. Started blue bags contain no other bags. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Every vibrant plum bag contains five blue dark olive. Bags must be color coded and must contain specific quantities of other color coded bags. I see. Okay. A bright white bag, which could hold your shiny gold bag directly. Bright white, shiny gold. Yeah. Okay. So shiny. So, so bright white here. Why does bright white say shiny white? Bright white should be saying shiny gold, right? Okay, I think there's an issue with our our parsing. That is inconvenient. Okay. Um, what did we say for our parsing? Is it because yes, this should be CC color? Okay, now it makes more sense. We were always referring to the original color. That was, that was too much. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah. Also, if you're enjoying this, hey. Yeah, I, I would appreciate a follow because, like, if you get enough followers, you get like Twitch affiliate, and then, and then they they pay me money <laughs> for sitting here and coding. Uh, I mean, I could make money from coding, but this is just for fun. So, okay, right, this should be good. So, shiny gold uh, uh, has dark olives and vibrant plum. No, wait, so bright white has shiny gold. Yeah? So, after one update, bright white should have shiny gold and bright white and muted yellow. Bright white has dark olive. What? Just shiny gold. Should... Huh. Is it, I, I thought we were only doing... Oh, are we like doing the entire update? Because we... Because we fold our... Transclose is gonna be the fix EQ update of the map. Hmm...
Okay, so let's let's say here. Uh, no, yeah, it's gonna be fixed EQ of an update of the. Oh shit! Yeah, but they pay me to do research, which uh, yeah, that's not too bad, right? Um. Oh, no instance for... Okay, yeah, I want to say I need the EQ here. Or I actually need the ORD K here. Yeah, okay, so we already did the fix. I think it was because we were... <laughs> Why are people burning me? <laughs> I'm just trying to make my living, bro. Uh, yeah, okay, so these are the... Alright, so shiny gold... Dark olive, dark black, faded blue, vibrant plum. So, shiny, you can hold your shiny gold bag directly. And, I, and then I need to invert this. Oh, we have a, we have a new raid. It's a lot of raiders today. If this was the Lost Ark, we would have Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay, no, that was a terrible... That didn't even make sense. What Ark are you talking about? Um... Okay, so now we've... Now we've... We've found all the things, and now... Now we need to find which one of these contain shiny gold, right? Um... Let's see. Oh, it's called member. It's called member. Yeah. So now we so now we we found a transitive in, transitive closure. So now okay, we don't need to update here. Okay. Uh, because we did the transitive closure. And now we want to see, okay, so uh, let TC equal trans clause of the big map. Okay, and now we want to say how many, how many, how many can hold the shiny gold? That is exactly those, um, So that is, so we do, we will say, okay, map, let, okay, so it's going to be map, uh, can hold shiny gold. That is going to be, so we're going to take the map.asox of the uh, TC of the big, of the big one, the big map. The big transitive closure. Let's say here. Try T T C. Uh, T C. Oh, I'm gonna actually use underscore here. I kind of like that convention where variables are called with underscore, and then and then like functions are are snake ca camel case. Okay, so map dot asox. Okay, now we're gonna filter. K comma V. Uh, yeah, okay. We're gonna filter K comma V based, so we're gonna filter, filter it based on a, you know, shiny gold. If shiny gold is a is a oh shit no like this member set dot member of the value and uh, what is wrong here oh so let's say print can hold shiny gold 
And then we're just gonna get the first ones of these. Let's see. Uh... Uh... What is the... Uh... Can I, what, are, what, are, what are the associations here? Map dot, map dot, map dot asox of, of the TC. Oh, it's this one. That's, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, map dot asox. That's the one that's wrong. This should be okay. Okay. Uh, Bright white, dark orange, light red, minded yellow. Those are the ones which contain shiny gold as a transitive closure. So it's bright white, bright white, muted yellow, yes. Dark orange, yes, and light red. So we just print the length of this, of can hold shiny gold. All right, that's four. Now let's do this again with the actual input. So we get the input uh, input and we print the, uh, the length of the of filtering uh, Shiny gold. So let's do this in a one liner, right? Because we have all the functions set dot member of. Oh no, <laughs> my code is so big. I need to. I need to. My head is getting in the way. That is too much. Okay, think length set member. Of a, yeah, this is gonna be a big one on her. So such a big one on her, we're not even gonna have it in one line. Uh, is that even legal? Print the length of the filter of shiny gold is a member in a map dot elms of 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 the. Trans close, trans clause of the folder. Jeez. Look at look at this data data stream funk programming. This is it's good stuff. So. So we first fold it and turn it into this union thing. Then we find a transitive closure. And then we take the elements of the transitive closure because we don't care about the keys at that point. We only care about the sets. And then we filter those who contain shiny gold. And then we print the length of that. So if we test this with a test input, uh, it will print four again. So let's test it with the input. Uh, but then we need the actual input, so let's see. Get your puzzle input. Oh, wow. That is a lot of input. Let's see. 192. Seems like a reasonable number. Are you ready? Did we do the transitive closure correct? Yes! All right, that was... Yeah, it's cool. I think it's cool. I think it's cool that we could like write a transitive closure just right off the bat. All right, now let's hope that all the work we did actually pays off 
uh, in part two. Okay, it's getting expensive to fly these days, not because of ticket prices, because of the ridiculous number of bags you need to buy. Consider again your shiny gold bag and we'll make them simple. Plate of blue, dotted black, white and plum, dark olive. So it contains seven free faded blue bags and four. So a single shiny gold bag must contain one dark olive bag and the seven bags within it, plus two vibrant plum bags. And the 11 bags within each of those. Okay. So now we're going to be using the integer values here. Okay. Um, the actual have a small chance of going several levels deeper than this example. Be sure to count all the bags, even if nesting becomes topologically impractical. So when we were finding the transitive closure, we were always like updating and just merging the sets. Now, when we merge the set, we actually need to look at the integer value and we have to be multiplying the value for the current key with the total amount of the bags in there, right? So now we essentially have to write the transitive closure again, except the update function will be a bit, bit, bit worse. Actually, can we, can we just, can we use the information we already have? How many individual bags are required inside your single shiny gold bag? Okay. The darker bags contain two, two dark violet bags, two. Hmm. Do we, uh, so here, I don't think we need to find the transfer closure. I think, so the shiny gold bag contained two dark red bags, and then we just look that up and do two times whatever this contains, right? But well, that would be a, a, a power of two, right? And this is not a, 126 is not a power of two. Okay, so let's see. A shiny gold bag, one dark olive bags. So, and the dark, so let's see here. So one shiny gold bag contains a one dark olive bag and two vibrant plum bags. And the dark olive bag, three faded blue bags, four dotted black bags. And that was one times seven. So it was a one dark olive bag, seven bags, was two vibrant plum bags. Yeah, and then those two plum bags contain 11 bags within them, and they contain... Okay, so here we just need to go and go go into the map and then look up recursively. Okay, that should be way easier than writing transitive closures. Damn it. Uh, but it was fun. I think I, I like writing transitive closures. I think it need to be a bit special. To like writing transitive closures. I don't think it's a common trait. But you know, they are kind of they're they're so nice. They're so clean. They do they're they're mmm. It's always like it's such a such a nice way to go about things. Okay, so solution two. Let's just copy this and say so solution it's going to take a let's list list of strings to an int oh no oh shit okay yeah the editor does this sometimes it like if i paste too much like it will just stop 
doing Vim key bindings for a while. I actually might have to restart it. Because it like it, it so now what it's doing now is that it's trying to parse like the all the file all the lines. Okay, let me just yeah, there we go. Yeah, exactly. Get line length, whatever. Yeah, okay. P Um, and then this should just be print solution. Okay, now solution two. That is gonna take this map here, string string to int map uh, solution two. That is gonna take the map of string comma string. Of int and it's going to take a key and it's going to return an int. What are we going to do with it? Well, solution to uh, bags. So this is going to be okay. First, we're going to say we are going to take the bag, we're going to look up. Ah, wait, no, this is, this is not a, it's a we, we want to take the, the actual map, this map of string, this one, this big one. Um, okay, so here we want to say, so this is going to be the big thing. This is going to be a map, string, comma, string, to these things. And then it's gonna take in a uh, string, a string. Okay. So okay. Uh, okay. So first of all, we're gonna say. So case, we are going to look up. Map dot look up. Uh, we're gonna look up. Um, we're actually just gonna say we're gonna look up this st string here, right? Uh, key. We're gonna say key. Look up the key in the map, right? Key map bags of okay. So if um, if there is no entry for that bag, it's actually an invalid bag, right? But uh, so, but then um, then we will just return zero, right? That was, but I don't think that can happen. But it's okay. We will say case key bags of nothing. We're gonna return zero. Just okay. So if we if we get if we have a result, then we are going to say. And here we're very much hoping there's not going to be like a loop in the thing, right? So if it's just a map, just MP, then then what we're going to do, we are going to say, so for that map, we are going to say map.asox of the MP. So this is going to be a list. So that's going to be the list of key comma values in that map. Um, so we're looking up, so this is going to be... Uh, where, so this is going to be a, a list of string comma string. MPA, so this is going to be string comma string comma int that's what this is going to be a list of uh, mpa equals map dot hasox of mp okay uh so and for each of those so let's see I, I so we're going to use a curry function here which essentially takes a function of two parameters and transforms it into a function of 
uh, of a pair. Yeah, so it's, we're gonna use uncurry. So we are going to So we have a list of strings of int, right? We, okay, we don't need to young curry stuff. Um, so for for each in that map, so f okay key v, we are going to return k. So f zero v is just going to be zero. We don't want to loop if there's zero thing. We don't have to count what's in there if it's zero. So f k v. So this is going to be non-zero. Is going to be k times solution two of the bags. Uh, of the of the uh, no yeah. So this is going to be k zero. It's gonna be k k val. So it's gonna be value time solution bags key. So then we just gonna recursively look up for each one, and we 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 calculate that. So f here is gonna take a string, comma string, and an int, and it's gonna return int. Um. So we are going to say, so we're gonna, the, the values, vals, it's gonna be a list of integers and vals is gonna be map. So yeah, now we use this uncurry function, right? So we take this and turn it into a list that operates on this pair. Uncurry f on a MPA. And then we take the sum of those. So, yeah, so we're going to take the sum of the vowels. And the problem here, solu soluion, saltuion. Uh, mm hmm. -hmm. Couldn't match expected type. Okay, wait, map. Oh, this is again this thing. Eggs key. Okay, let's try solution two on the test input. Um, but we first have to create the big map. So let's just let's just print the. Print solution two on the big map. Uh, so this is going to be of shiny gold. Yeah. Shiny gold. Let's see here. What happens? Oh, we got zero. It's not good. Um, how about, what happens? What is happening? Let's print the big map first. We already printed the big map, right? But we don't have to print these. So this is like we said zero somewhere and that's that's wrong, right? Okay, uh so for the first one, so shiny gold. Um so let's let's not let's just show, let's just show we here. Let's not not the so let's do this for the big map. Uh, 
Let's let's look at the big map. In this kind of more regular format. Probably shiny gold one. Okay, so shiny gold, dark olive one, wyvern plum two. Okay, and then we look up dark olive one. Um. So solution for the big map. Okay, so if we look up. We look up the key. Shiny gold. Uh, let me see. Uh, print big map map dot what if I look up look up that right yeah I get from all dark all of one vibrant plum two oh I think I think if they contain nothing it should be it should be one because they contain those bags plus the bags within them so this here is not just the sum vowels it's also so it's one plus the length of vowel no one plus the so i think this will be v plus I think it's like this, actually. Um, what do we get then here for... Here we get 32 for this one, yeah? And then let's see here for the test input 2. So we got it right for the, for the previous test input. Now let's see. Now let's see what happens here. New file. Test input two. Let's see, this was way easier than the than the first part of this. If we got it right, that is. Uh big map. Um so how do we so solution two she really okay um let's see so two big map let's just let's just call this here function two big map uh and this is going to be list the list of list of strings uh no, so we just want to have it like this. And this is going to have a two big map. So this is string to a map of string, comma, string, map, string, comma, string, int. Okay, and then this, uh, this, this will just be big map. It's just going to be f map to big map over get input no it doesn't doesn't like that why not ish f map to big map huh let's see a big map in okay let big map equals two big map in but uh, shouldn't that isn't that the same as two big map f map or the test input yeah okay that's what i thought i was writing anyway um so big map t2 is going to be two big map over get input test input two and then let's print uh, these are all 
He's gonna roll for the second one. So big map T2, split into solution two for big T2. Okay, compiling 192, 32, 126. Okay, now we, we got it right for the both of the two inputs. So it's, I'm pretty certain it's gonna work for the test input. So let's see. Um, big map input. Um, yeah, all right, this is still test input. This is being input. One, two, one, two, eight. That sounds like a reasonable number, right? Let's check it out. All right. We got part two. <laughs> we didn't have to write any transitive closures, but, you know, I hope you guys learned how to write transitive closures. The second part was just easy. That's just looking up in a map. But I think I think we might have done this a little bit too generally. I think I think because we were only like checking the elements, we didn't actually need to compute the complete transitive closure. We we could have gotten away with just um, just checking for elements. Like we could probably have gotten away with the same thing we did here. Um, which is to say, you know, we could have just checked for the element instead of instead of saying, yeah. So I think you know we could have we could have said one here if it was two shiny gold or shiny gold, and then zero otherwise, and then just summed it up. Let's let's try that actually. Solution one, redo. Redo. Okay, so this is gonna be... So this is gonna be... If it's shiny gold yeah you think these guys might work let me see Here we got zero. Let's see. Oh, but is it because we didn't do plus one or something like that? <sighs> Let's see. Okay, I, I don't think, yeah, so here we don't iterate. Uh, thanks. I like this. You got to see the keyboard and I get away with having super clicky keys. Because you can see it. Otherwise, you would just be like, "Oh, it's such an annoying sound." But let's see here. If it's if shiny, if it is shiny gold, then it is one plus. If it's not shiny gold, okay, then it is solution one redo of the bags of. Okay, now, I think we would have had to do... We would have had to do something different for Solution 1 Redo. Maybe we did have to do the transitive closure. I, like, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I feel... Because we kind of generated the entire transitive closure. We could have taken a shortcut somewhere. So instead of computing this entire set... And then, and then, you know, we just check if it's a member, if, which one's, which one of them it's a member in. Um, 
We could have probably have like started at each key and then kind of recursively gone through the thing. And if you end up seeing shiny gold, then we add one. Otherwise, no. Let's do that actually. I want to see if we had to do this, right? So solution uh, one redo. Uh, that's going to be, this might mistype big map. It's going to be this thing. And then it says big map. Okay, so this takes a big map and it returns an integer. Okay, so here we're going to say... Okay, so here we're going to say solution one, one redo um, map. So let's just hard code it, right? So um, so for all the keys, okay, so let's see here where keys equals keys, so map.keys of the map. So for all the keys in the map, we wanna we wanna go through we wanna check if we can end up with shiny gold. Okay, so, so that's gonna say Okay, so for all the keys So check if, check if the, okay, so, hmm, I want to do like a nice recursive solution here. So for all the keys in the map, we have to check if shiny gold is a member. Hmm. Of the transitive closure, right? Um, so let me say, has shiny gold. So this is going to be key comma value. So. Shiny gold. Okay, wait, so, no, so, okay, so we, 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 we took, take it to the set. So we want the, the, the set here, right? So the, the one we got with F map, map dot keys set. So we take the map, we say, a KS equals F map uh, key S. Uh, so this is going to be MP, MP, K. I'm not naming these things very well, I think. Map K set K. MP K equals the F map of the keys set of map. So now we turned it into just this key set. So now we want to see Okay, so has shiny gold. So this will take in a set K and it will return true. So has shiny gold set case. So this, if this is set dot empty, that's false, right? Has shiny gold. Um, let's actually let's not do it into the key set. So let's 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 do. Yeah, we want the key set. We want the set dot two list of the key set. And defined, and we want this to be a list of keys. 
Hmm. Right. This should be... In comma string. Okay, this needs to be map talk, he said, right? Okay, so it has shiny gold. A list of case. List of string. Come on, string. Uh, two. Boo. Has shiny gold of empty list equals false. Has shiny gold of shiny gold this prepended to rest equals true okay and has shiny gold something else that is going to say um uh, now this this is gonna okay this is not gonna be an int this is gonna be an this is gonna be an int and it's gonna be bull so if it is shiny gold it is true and we we finished we found it right if it isn't shiny gold then we want to check um. Then we want to check, uh, has shiny gold. So we, then we want to check if, if has shiny, so then we want to check, okay. Uh, case x map dot this operator, uh, mpk of so if we find if it if we find if we look up the list and we have some elements, then we're just gonna say just so nothing is false. Nothing is false. Is that what is this? Uh, what are you complaining about now? Uh. It's, I think I, I am, there's some indentation error here, right? Just, um, else. Uh, then we want to say any has shiny gold else. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, this is, I, I, I always screw up this operator. Map mpk x. Uh, okay, so. Hmm. What is, what is this? Okay, so. If I look it up in the map, I will get a list of strings, right? Yeah, I should get a list of strings, no? And if it has... And then I want to map over the strings, right? Map has shiny gold, else. But it's complaining because... A... Could not actually pack it? Yeah, and then, okay, what, how is the, oh yeah, sorry. This is not supposed to be any, this is supposed to be or dollar map. Could not match type list of list of L's. So. X here is string just a string right? This is a list of list of strings, okay? The return value here is maybe list of strings. Okay. Um, 
is this something like this? What is so this el here is the list of string comma string. Okay, and then I I map this. Okay, and I want to apply some function here. Oh, sheet. I just apply the function recursively. Um, yeah, and then this is going to be the length of filtering has shiny gold on keys on PK. Gonna be a list of lists of strings. Why is okay? So there is something very weird going on. Okay, there's something just not clicking here. Uh, data dot map. Yeah. So I want a list of string elements, right? Is, what if I just do MP? Uh, so KS equals map.keys of MP. KS is type. Ding. Ding 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 ding. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's okay. Right. So this one takes in a list of list of strings. So yeah. Um. Okay, so I really, so I want to, I want to create the list of uh, strings. Let's see what solution root one redo does now. Bing, 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 Okay, um, what is, what does this say here? Let's see. Cause I, you know, I, I feel like I'm feeling out just the simplest thing here. I mean, I, I managed to do the like overly complex version, but, uh, But, uh, but, uh, yeah. I mean, because, like, I wrote the transitive closure thing, but now... Uh, yeah, because now it's just saying that all of them have... Contain it, right? Which isn't, like... So, because it's, it's saying that... Okay, the empty list is, like, actually not containing it, right? Oh, this is for the input. 
So let's see it on a test input. So it is giving four on the test input. But on the actual input, uh, it's saying, it's saying only 13. I think, uh, oh, I think it's because I only go one level deep in this one. So these are all the level, like the top level ones that contain them. But I, I don't have, I don't have all the possible values of bags here. I think that's the issue. Anyway, I think we spent too much time on this um, solution one redo. I'm just gonna be happy with my 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 transitive closure solution. Probably overkill. Uh, uh, but you know, at least because I because I I'd rather write a big general solution that works than one that doesn't, right? So let's go over it a bit, what we did here. Um, so we, we just parse it into these maps, all right? So we parse it into like a map that said, you know, this is the one white and then it contains a list of values. So essentially we, we parsed it, in, you know, we parsed this into something we could operate on. You can see it a faded blue here has nothing, so it has a nothing empty map, right? And uh, then we wrote some pretty printing functions, and then we wrote the transitive closure. So what did that do? I mean, that kind of goes into the map, and it finds the transitive closure of that key. So it takes that key, it takes all the sub keys of that key. And it adds to that th those sets of keys all all the sets that can be reached from those, right? So, and then the trick was okay. Then we went into all the all the bags and we found out all the bags that could be reached starting from that bag. Save that in the map, and then we just figured out which ones had shiny gold as a like a reachable thing at the end, um, and it and it worked, and like that's this is not a lot of code to do that, right? And it's like so this we can even you know this is and now we do the transitive closure. And that's like the general way to do it, right? And, uh, and then we just yeah we we built the transitive closure, we and we found out which ones had the shiny gold as a final member, like which. Like if starting from these, you could reach shiny gold, right? Solution two is way simpler. Then we just had to kind of recursively look things up and add them together. And I'm like, I, cause usually solution, like part one is easy and then part two is a bit harder. Um, and like, you can usually use your solution for part one for part two. So I'm thinking like we could replace some of this with like one somehow and just get the final final solution right for the thing but uh, that was that was not to be i couldn't i couldn't figure it out and uh, you know i would have to like sit down and think about it a bit before i did it but you know we already solved it so and that's like you know i'm not so not so excited about just trying to write it in a different way i think cuz i think this transitive closure it's just such a like a generally nice way to do it and uh, you know, it doesn't take too long. 320 seconds for for all of it. Um, oh, this is like twice the same? No, yeah. So... How... How long did we do... Did we just take off everything except the thing we need? The complete solution without any printing or anything takes 360 milliseconds. I mean, that's that's not super fast, but that's not too bad for doing the transitive closure. 
All right, I hope you guys uh, and gals learned something. Uh, of how to write Haskell code. And, you know, don't be afraid of just doing the transitive closure because it, it, it works. And then, you know, you're not going to spend a bunch of time trying to figure out why your kind of hard-coded solution doesn't work. Like, this will always work for all of all of all maps. Like, this would just find the transitive closure of them. And hopefully we can use it later. All right, that's all I have for you tonight. Um, thanks for staying so long. We were like two hours today. We're usually like 40 minutes. But, you know, these are getting harder. Um, and that's what's fun. Let's just hope they don't get too hard. I don't want to not solve these on stream. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for today. And uh, yeah, see you again tomorrow at 5 o'clock UTC. Um, which is 6 o'clock in Europe. I guess it's noon, 11-ish in East Coast US, I, I am not quite sure what the time is there. But anyway, thanks a lot and uh, see you tomorrow. All right.